You know, as we get older, it is natural for our likes and dislikes to adapt a little bit, you know, to change, to be affected by, you know, the different situations in life. But did you ever think that your favorite things might actually be affected by you losing your sight? What's up VIPs, welcome to my channel. And I have realized as of late, a lot of the things that I like or my favorites have changed because of my vision loss. Maybe they haven't changed completely, but they've been affected because I have a limited vision. And so the way I approach things, the way I see things, the way it uh, you know enters into my brain have been affected. So my favorites have changed over the years. By the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Derek and I help people just like you to discover life after sight loss. On this channel, we do product reviews, life advice, encouragement, how-tos, and so much more. So if that sounds good to you, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell icon so that you don't miss another single video. As I said, recently I've realized how things have changed in my life, you know, and my favorites have changed. For example, recently my wife and I were shopping for a new comforter. Yeah, that's what you shop for when you're an adult. Instead of all kinds of fun toys, it's a new comforter. And actually, when you get to be a certain age, you probably actually like a new comforter. So anyway, the point is, we were shopping for a new comforter. And I realized that the things that I liked about comforters were the contrast. I love when there were dark lines and then light lines. It didn't even matter the color. It was just, were you know, was the contrast really affected? Was there dark and then light? Uh, where she was picking out things based on patterns, based on shapes, uh, based on colors, where for me it was just, is it dark and is it light? And the ones that had a lot of contrast, I'm like, I really like these. And she's like, that would not match our room at all. I'm like, so it's high contrast. And so that's what I liked. And that affects a lot of different things. For example, my furniture now, we just got new furniture. This furniture is like very red. It is obviously red. Now it might look a little different to me than other people, but I can still see that it's red. And so I really like this furniture, not to mention it's pretty comfortable. And even this throw pillow thing, I can you know, see the big contrast off of the red. And so my favorites in colors and contrast have vastly been affected because of my vision loss. You know, I'm sure that applies to other things as well, whether it's traveling or going outside or the games we like or whatever. You know, you might have something that it's like, why is that such a big deal to you? Why do you like that game? Because maybe that game is really accessible to you. And so you're like, this is my new favorite game. You know, maybe you have playing cards now that have big numbers and letters on them. And so you're like, I love playing cards now where you didn't love playing cards before. It wasn't because you hated cards and now you love cards. It was because now you have something that's accessible and not everything is. And so our likes, our dislikes, our favorites, our, our things we go to, our things we get excited about, they might change after we lose our vision. And really, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, maybe your favorite color's always been blue and it doesn't mean you hate blue now. It's just that if blue is really faded to you, it's not really that important anymore. And I think it just lets us know that things are going to change. And we've talked about that before. Everything changes when you lose your sight. Well. Maybe not everything, but a lot of things change when you lose your sight. And your favorites, your go-to things probably will change. And that's okay. You just have to realize that and be prepared for that. And recognize that when you like certain things and when you're excited about certain things because they're accessible or because you can see them well, that's perfectly fine. And embrace that and go for it. Even if your family's like, why do you like this now? You know, it doesn't matter. It, I like it because I can see it or I can still access it or whatever the case may be. So going through vision loss is going to change a lot of things, especially those things that you've always found as your favorite. Hey, my question for you today is this. What is something that you really enjoy now? Maybe your favorite color, favorite game, something like that, that maybe you didn't before because you have vision loss. I'd love to hear about it and I know others would as well. So let me know in those comments down below. Hey, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with somebody that you know and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another single video. Thanks again for watching wherever you are and until next time, remember, sight loss isn't the end, it's just the beginning. My name's Derek Daniel from lifeaftersightloss.com and I'll see you in the next one.